welcome students in this video we are trying to complete the practical number 6a so what has been expected in the practical number 6 it is working with database and 6a says create a web application bind the data in multiple text boxes by querying the another text box now query has to be what we can say been linked and binding data so let us try to see in the manual what exactly university expects so this is the small manual of mumbai university so we are trying to move towards your practical number 6a we will just look at what is the output which has been expected so in the practical number 6a they are expecting the output in this way where we are going to create one web page which consists of one text area where we will be providing a query and according to the query whatever the outcome is going to be there that must be displayed inside what a list box as a record when a user clicks on the button so this is what been expected output in this particular practical so let us concentrate how to do with it so first i'm starting with my visual studio and planning to create a new web application for practical number 6a so i'm creating a new project here i am selecting the type of the application as asp.net web application.net framework given a click on next i had given a practical name as my project name as practical 6a further i had given a click on create so i am creating the empty application so empty applications got created now what has been expected we would like to go for connecting to the database Now already you know how to create a database, etc. And we can connect by using what is a server explorer. So here it comes. I am going towards my Visual Studio Server Explorer. If this option is not seen by you, don't worry. Go to the View menu, and here you can select the option that is named as what is a server explorer. So in a server explorer, you can see various data connections. But for example, I am having a data connection over here as BSIT. i'm having a separate video where i am explaining you how to create a database and how to create the tables and how to go for establishing the connection under this server explorer so you please check out that video for understanding these things so assumption is there i'm having one data uh, base created at bscit under which i'm having one table created which is named as employee which consists of three fields employee id employee name and employee salary and there are few records also been added into it so i see show table data and here i come to know that uh, this is what a data which has already been added inside this particular table so let the data be as it is now few configuration which we need to do it in our web.config for a connection string so web.config we can provide the connection string directly or we can add up a connection string in web.config and further access the connection string to the web.config it is better to access the connection strings to the web.config because then when you need to modify you have to modify only at one place so here it comes and after the system.web create one uh, tag which is called as connection strings and under the connection string plan to add one new connection string where i'm giving the name of the connection string as c1 and the attribute i'm going to provide for the connection string is the connection string which is used for connecting with this particular database named as bscit you can type the connection string or simply you can give right click on this connection go to the property select this connection string from here copy the connection string and paste it over here right when this task has been completed then i am interested in going for using my connection string in my program so let's start first of all developing our web page so our task of web.config is over where we are creating connection string and i had given the name of the connection string as c1 connection string sql express is what my server name and bscit is what my database name now here i am coming with creating a new page so i give a right click selected the option which is called an add and selecting the option that is named as what here web form so i am adding the new web form over here and giving the name of this web form as web form 1 only i need to complete the designing part so simply i am coming over here in my toolbox and planning to take a multi line text so i just add up one text box where the user is entering the query 
and to make this text box as a multi line text box i go to the property and here i am changing my text mode the text mode is been changed by me from the single line towards what a multi line so find my text box gets created further i need to have one button which will be going to display the records so i am adding one button over here uh, maybe giving the text of the button as a show data so when the user give a click on a show data it should be uh, displaying those records which is generated as per the query but the data should be entered or the query should be fired only when some values is been entered inside this particular text box so what i'm doing i'm planning to come over here and adding one required field validator so the value must be entered inside a text box so here it comes i'm going to the validation and under the validation i'm selecting the option called the required field validator uh, under the required field validator i am providing the error message that is please provide query further i am providing control to validate as my text box one so my validation has got completed over here and further after this button i am adding one list box where i would like to display all the records as per what the university is expecting in this practice so i added this particular list box just increase the size of this list box my task has been over now i am interested in giving the click on a show data and write in the code under that show data so let us focus how we can write the code of database first thing you require to import the name spaces which are required so i am providing using system dot data as well as i am specifying using system dot data dot sql client so sql client for sql server data because data set and all other classes are present under the data name space as well as i am using one name space that is system dot web dot configuration why this name space is required because i would like to retry the connection string from my web dot config now let us start concentrating first thing this program might generate the exception also so what i am doing i am using try catch so here i am providing try block and the catch block i don't want to handle number of types of exception multiple catches so i am just writing exception ex and under this exceptions i am just clearing my uh, maybe label so i just a label one dot text uh, not label it is list box so i am writing list box one dot items dot clear so all items which are there in the list box must be clear and i am just interested in adding only one item over here with the message that is uh, invalid query or no records but 99% of the problem comes because of the invalid table or no okay i just provide the message as invalid query only now inside this try block we would like to complete our code what are the different things which we need to do first thing we require to establish connection so how can i establish a connection is simple i can just write first of all i need to have a connection string which i stored inside my web.config so i am creating one string variable str and here i am mentioning web configuration manager dot connection string under which the connection string named as c1 is there what are the c1 is there the connection string should be retrieved so please remember that this is connection strings this is the c1 is the name of the connection string so why you had given the name of c1 baba yahan pe hi maine pehle likha tha yaad hai to yahan pe likha tha connection strings naam ka ek tag jiske andar connection string add kiya hua hai jiska naam diya hua hai c1 right and the connection string is be stored the same logic is been used over here the web configuration manager connection string c1 as what a connection string and then i would like to go for what uh, establishing connection so for establishing connection we are using sql connection the object name i have given as con equal to new sql connection in the bracket i am providing my connection string that is named as what a str further i would like to go for opening the connection so i am providing open connection so how to open the connection is simple by providing con dot open 
after the connection is being opened then what is the next step which i need to do it the next step is what is nothing but create a sql command so how to create a sql command is simple we can create an object by saying sql command cmd equal to new sql command in the bracket i require to provide the query now the query is stored inside my text box so i'm writing text box 1 dot text and the connection object name is what here con so con has been mentioned the command object got created now after the command object got created i need to go for execute query so i need to go for what executing query and whatever the output which has been generated output everybody know it is a select query so records have been retried right so records have been retried so what we need to do so we need to execute a query and whatever the records which are retrieved those must be stored in some kind of collection so that's the reason i'm using a class as sql data reader and provide the name of this object as dr equal to i'm providing cmd dot execute reader so execute reader will be executing the query written inside the text box. Output has been generated and stored inside what your data reader. So now the data reader will be having the record which are being stored inside what we can say, uh, which are been retrieved from the uh, command inside what your data reader. And now I would like to move from my first record to the last record. But before that, I would like to remove all the records from the list box. So I just say first clear the text box or clear list box. So I just cleared the list box by providing list box one dot items dot clear. So all the items got what we can say cleared over here, but clear is a method. Na? So we need to provide the open to bracket. So now all the items under the list box are getting cleared. The next step is to navigate from the first record to the last record. So SQL data reader provides us a method named as read. Right. So I am just using while loop by saying while dr dot read. What the read returns? Read, read returns the Boolean value. That is either true or false. So read will be always going to the next record and returning true or false. If it does not have the next record, it returns false. It has the next record. That means if it is moving successfully to the next record, it is returning what we can say true. So dr.read has been utilized and a while loop is what written by us. And inside the while loop, what I need to do, I need to fetch that all column values inside some string. And that string value need to be added inside what we can say have a list box. Ek dam simple sa concept hai. Because record with a column to nahi aega. Shayad ek se jada column aasakta hai. So, jitne columns aayenge, unme navigate hoke, aapko wo string ko generate karna hai, aur generate ke wa string ko ek variable ke andar store karna hai. So, ek string mene generate kar diya by saying string, maybe item string, item str, and initially I am making it blank. Further, I am using a for loop by saying for int i equal to 0 till dr.fields count and i++. It means I am going from the first column up to the last column and for every column I am providing item str equal to item str plus dr of i dot to string. So first column value has been concatenated, second column value has been concatenated, third column value has been concatenated. Every time I need some space, every time I need some space to be added. After this for loop, the item ester will be containing a single record value, then second record value, then third record value. And those values must be added inside a list box. So here I am providing list box one dot items dot add item str. So program is over, but still uh, clear the list box. And then I am saying adding the result in list box. Moving ahead, I need the next part that is called as close the connection. So I'm writing over here con dot close. Now what is the next step? I need to now check whether my program is really working in the appropriate way or not. So I just say invalid query and whatever the exception message is there that I would like to display. So I just say ex dot message. So I saved everything. I had saved this program also. And now I would like to run this page and check whether the appropriate output is getting displayed or not. 
So I had executed this particular page and let's check whether we are getting the expected output or not. We already have a table called as employee and we have only that one employee table. So here it comes, the page is showing me a text area, a button, as well as what we can say a list box. It is coming, the IIS is getting loaded for the first time. But over here, I need to type a query. Then I require to give a click on a show data. So I just give a click on a show data. You know that it is giving the error to me because validation mode is what been required. It has been told by me earlier also that whenever you are implementing the validation in this new version, you require to add a few more important things for the validation. So what need to be added? So we are concentrating on that. This is the error which is getting occurred. Don't worry. You have to again go towards what we can see your web.config. So here I just end my project now. Again, I'm going to the web.config. And here we need to add one connections option that is under what here app settings. So you require to go to the app setting and we have to add the key as validation setting that is uh, validation mode and the value need to be set by us as what you know. So I just take up the app settings and I'm planning to copy these app settings and further I'm just adding this app settings so you can check where you will find over here end of the configuration only you just add up the option called as what here app setting. Once you save these things uh, Okay, so where I will get this kind of option, you can go to Stack Overflow, you will get this option. But then also I will ask my uploader that you please add up these kind of settings uh, as in comment or somebody can ask me the question, I will add up these all values in the comment so that uh, you can easily get the information. Now again, I'm going towards the web form one and I'm running this particular IIS. Let us check. So here without entering the query, if I try to give a click on a button, then you know that validation will say that please provide a query. So I type some query. So what is this nonsense query true? So that's the reason it gives me the error called an incorrect syntax. Now, now I'm providing the proper query by saying so let asterisk from the table called as employee. So you'll find the records have been retrieved and they are been displayed over here. Instead of asterisk, if you are trying to provide the option that is employee ID, employee name, then you will find the proper values are what getting display. So depending on the requirement, you can provide the query and you will get the output. So this is the expectations are there under the practical number 6a. Shortly, I will upload the practical number 6b also. Thanks a lot, students.